We got some big news in the Animaga community last night because once again, law enforcement is cracking down on leakers. Both Toho and Aniplex, two massive anime production houses, issued subpoenas to Twitter in order to get the information on several big leaking accounts. First of all, shout out to Asaratha HS over on Twitter who was able to track down some of these legal documents. And as you can see, the law enforcement is making this request of Twitter on behalf of Toho and Aniplex. Now here we have a list of the 12 accounts that the subpoena references that they are requesting more information on. And I'm sure you'll recognize some of these, but you may be asking, wait, there's a few names that aren't on here that I really thought would be. And that's probably because this is specifically in reference to anime leaks, not manga leaks. And if you'll even recall a few weeks ago, maybe about a month ago even, there was a pretty big anime leak where a ton of episodes that have not yet been released fell online. So I think this is probably in big reference to that, but this has also just been a problem for a long time, right? But also in addition to these 12 accounts, uh, for those of you that are in this realm or at least familiar with people in this realm, several other accounts have gone offline. I don't know if that means, you know, something happened with them as well, or they just went offline because they were fearful of this. But yeah, uh, this sent some waves through the community. The legal documents also go on to explain how they identified those 12 accounts, and it was by three primary ways. The first is that some people just posted information that they should not have had, so clearly they got it in an illicit way. But the second way is that they uh, put in intentionally incorrect information in the credits in order to help narrow down the source, and this is really cool. So it basically means like they'll put out three versions, right? X, Y, and Z. And so if they see somebody post uh, version Z online, then they know, okay, since that's version Z, they must have gotten it from this avenue. Really clever. And then third, they had watermarks that were baked in as well that also helped them identify these uh, pathways, if you will. And so what do these subpoenas aim to do? Well, Toho and Aniplex want Twitter to give them any and all information about these accounts. The name and email address they used to sign up for Twitter. The address, if they used that information. The IP address that they've logged in from so they can help locate these people. Now, what happens next? Well, I'm not a lawyer. This isn't my wheelhouse. I have no idea which way this is going to go, but I imagine it's very complicated due to all of the international laws at place here. We have companies based in Japan, based in America, and individual Twitter users probably all over the world, right? So I don't know how all of those things interplay. I don't know if Twitter will be forced to hand over that information or not. Uh, but yeah, they're certainly trying to crack down on this. And like I mentioned earlier, I imagine they will also crack down on the manga leakers as soon as they get more of a case to try and build toward that as well. So yeah, stay tuned. I'll keep you guys posted if more stuff comes out about this. But yeah, just thought it was fascinating.